Uh, it's been revealed to... Now, this is interesting, because you, you might not have clocked this, but we're bringing this to you because it is important. It's been revealed today that a Russian pilot tried to shoot down an RAF surveillance plane which was flying over neutral territory in the Black Sea after believing he had permission to fire. The pilot fired two missiles, the first of which missed rather than malfunctioned, as claimed at the time. Russia has claimed the incident last September was caused by a technical malfunction. The MOD publicly accepted the Russian explanation, but now three senior Western defence sources with knowledge of the incident have revealed that Russian communications intercepted by the RAF gave a very different account of the official version. The intercepted communications show that one of Russia's pilots thought he'd been given permission to target the British aircraft, following an ambiguous command from a Russian ground station. So what are the implications on this, this revelation? Are we likely to see RAF planes engaged in combat with Russian jets above the sky? Joining me to talk about this, international military and security expert Will Geddes is with us. How are you doing, Will? I'm really well, Ian. Thank you very much for the invite today. It's a pleasure. When I first saw this story, I thought, well, you know, stuff happens up in the air. It's easy to get things wrong. Community. And then I thought, hang on a second. This is actually very serious. If somebody, if a Russian pilot was given permission to essentially shoot down an RAF jet, my goodness, what do we make of this? This is huge. You're absolutely right, Ian. There's actually more to this story than simply this near miss or uh, near international incident that took place here, uh, in so much as obviously it's shown the volatility of the Russians in terms of their defense of what they believe to be their airspace. Now, this was over Crimea, but it was an international airspace. And these kind of infractions are just simply not tolerated. But what is even more telling is the fact that it actually tells us, <coughs> excuse me, about the fact that the Americans who actually fed this intelligence back into the UK have made it very, very clear that they have that capability to not only detect aircraft in the sky, and you can go on any number of apps, which are like Flight Tracker, for example, which will tell you what air, what airplanes are in the sky, but most of those will be commercial. But it will also, there are abilities to be able to see what military aircraft are there. But even more importantly, is the interception of the communications of the actual Russian crew itself. Well, indeed, and the, the, this is the one we've heard of, Will. I, I, it's got me thinking, you know, could there be other um, hits or near misses that we well, have? Well, there, yeah, there was certainly, obviously, the shooting down of the US un, unarmed or unmanned, I should say, drone, surveillance drone, back in March of this year. So this isn't the first time that there's been a clash in the skies. But certainly in terms of the ability, I think this is the, 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 one of the things that certainly intelligence agencies and government agencies will be very cautious about is giving up to the other side what their capabilities are. But in this instance, this is a very, very clear message from the UK and the coalition forces supporting Ukraine to say we are and have a very clear eye on what you are doing to the Russians. And this is really kind of important because Obviously, if they can intercept the communications of Russians in the air, in their aircraft, on what should be secure comms, they most certainly will be utilising that technology to intercept the ground positions, the uh, actual military on the ground, and what they're communicating between their command positions and their forward operating bases or positions. And in terms of uh, the... the the response of the British government, which I thought was rather generous on this, I mean, perhaps they have their diplomatic reasons, Will, uh, but, but saying, you know, we've spoken to the Russians, we understand this was an accident, etc. Now we're hearing something different. Um, one has to assume the government never really did think it was an accident. Well, no, I think, uh, I think they may not have necessarily known to start with, and I think, again, it was clarity. We know that Elon Musk has been very involved, certainly in providing support to the US military and the coalition forces, yeah. through his Starlink satellite capabilities. And again, in certain instances, he's provided that intel and certainly some of that information to Ukraine forces. However, having said that, I don't think the Brits were necessarily aware of the communications within the cockpit of the Russian plane, but the US certainly have a far more advanced interception capabilities, which would have allowed them to get this information, take it home, look at the procedures, and ultimately translate it and then disseminated, obviously, to the UK, as, as our partners would yeah. or should. 
indeed. Will, always good to get your take. Thank you. Will Geddes, international military and security expert with us on Talk TV. I think that's an incredibly worrying development. And when you hear that this was an intentional strike and you hear that the Russian pilots were given permission to shoot an RE... I mean, you just think about that for a second. It's very easy to read these headlines and go, oh, I don't really understand what goes on diplomatically in the air with various you know, forces, etc. But just digest that for one moment, that the Russians were given permission to one of their pilots to shoot down an RAF plane. I mean, what did... Seriously? Man alive. I mean, that's absolutely vast in terms of news. Permission to shoot down, and therefore, one would assume, unless you can survive it, to kill British military personnel who have been flying in the sky, in neutral airspace, by the way. Permission to shoot, permission to fire, essentially permission to kill.